Hi everyone, and welcome to our first Swift video. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Xcode, and we're going to make our first app, which is in Hello World. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we're going to find is, click on this apple right here. And the third selection is App Store. Click on the App Store here. So you can go to the App Store. And it takes you here. Oh, it's a little... I think it's a little... It's not responding. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Search up Xcode. And you should see this. If you already downloaded it, like I already have it, it should say open. But if, it do if you didn't download it, it should say get. And it may take a while if you download it because if you click here... You see, you see under information, the size is 2.49 gigabytes, which is a lot and um, takes a while sometimes because you're not just downloading Xcode. You're downloading the iOS simulator. You're downloading all the, you're downloading all the frameworks and the APIs. So since I already have it, I'm just going to close the app store and, and after you're done downloading it, you'll be asked to and you open it, you'll be asked to download a few parts. See, you can find Xcode in your applications, and I'm just going to drag it onto the dock. And you can open up Xcode by this way. And after you've done downloading all this stuff, it should take you to the screen. And the version is 6.1.1, which is the version we're using in this course. And this is a welcome screen, so... So you can like create a new project, get started with the playground, check out an existing project. And we're gonna, for now, we're gonna click on create a new Xcode project. It takes us here. And we're developing for iOS, not OS X, because iOS is usually easier to work with. And so that's what we're looking for. Okay, in iOS, right under application. So you select application here. We're going to select single view application. And you can click next. And in the product name, it, it's the name of your app. Like if you submit it to the App Store, if you heard of Minecraft, they put like Minecraft PE. But we're not developing Minecraft. But So that's what they would put here. So the project name here we're going to put is we're going to put Hello World. Okay, and just set your organization name and your identifier, which is all your information, so your personal information. And we'll, we'll set the language to Swift because this, these courses are on Swift, not Objective-C. And the device is iPhone because usually an iPhone screen is easier to work with. And we might develop for these later, but we're just following for iPhone right now. Okay, click next, and I'm just going to save it on the desktop. I right, have this here. Well, I'll just replace it. Okay, here's what a finished project. Here's what a project, when you make a new project, here's what it looks like. I'm just going to zoom the window like that so it's easier to see. And first thing we're going to do. So this side is a nav project navigator. So this is a project navigator. This shows you, like, um file sort of this is like finding text this is showing you the issues this shows you all the tests this so shows you the debugging session this shows you the breakpoints and this is for like um whenever you like to debug it okay so we're gonna go to the file inspect file navigator first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to main desk report. okay and this right side here is the utility view. And what that does is you can like check the file inspector, the quick help, the identity inspector, the attributes inspector, the size inspector, and the outlet, the outlet connections inspector, sorry. Okay, so here's this really big view controller here. You can drag, like, you can drag anything here. So now, for now, we're gonna drag on a label which you can find here 
by searching up label. And here it is. Drag it to the center of the screen and make it as big as you want. I'm just gonna set it to the edge of the screen. Okay, and drag it to the right. Okay, now double click the label and you should be able to change the text. And inside I'm gonna put hello world. I'm just gonna put all capitals. And exclamation mark, press enter. And it should put in the texture. Okay, we're gonna go to the attributes inspector, which is this little slider thing. While well, the label is selected. Okay, and here you see label, the text is plain, and here you can change the text. The color is black, which is the default. We're going to set it a little bigger. Let's say about the size, maybe a little bigger. There, central on the text, and you should be good. Okay, save it with Command S, and let's try running. To run... See this little play button here? You click here. And you can choose their choice of simulator here, or you can run on an iOS device, but you need the um, iOS developer program to do that, which is $99 per year. And to like distribute apps on the App Store, you also need the developer program. And now we're gonna run an iPhone 5S. And click the play button. Here's a simulator. It's just a simulation of a regular phone. And here it is. Okay, you can't see all the text. And why? Because I'm just gonna close the simulator with Command Q, or you can go to iOS Simulator, quit iOS Simulator. Okay, and the problem here is, look at the size of the view controller here. It does not look like an iPhone screen. In fact, it's square, and I'm just gonna zoom out so you can see. That does not look like a normal iPhone screen, right? So I'm going to zoom back in. So how do we change it? I'm going to go to the file inspector, which is this little file thingy majig here. And in the interface to build the document, there are two checkboxes right here. And the one under use uh, auto layout, we're going to deselect that one, which says use size classes. And we're, we're going to disable it because this is storing data for a single device family, which is one device family. family. And we're keeping it for iPhone, so this is going to be iPhone. And click here. Just give us the screen. And as we noticed in the simulator, this is what we saw. So I'm just going to delete this label and drag on another label. Make it say hello world. Right? And drag it to the middle. Should work. And let's try running. Click on the play button. And open up the simulator. And we see it now matches the screen. Okay. It gets what we expected. So now we're going to try one more thing. So let's close the simulator. We're going to go to view controller out Swift. We see all this code, right? Probably don't understand this because I'm, I'm hope I think you're new to programming. Whoever, if you're watching this, so um, probably don't know what this code is. So this is declaring a class, and the super class is UIV controller, which means it's a subclass of the UIV controller. And we have view to load and did receive memory warning functions. And we have a super of it, okay? And then view did load right under the super. Here's where we're gonna type. We're gonna type P R I N T L N. Open parentheses. And we're gonna type in open quotation marks. And inside here, 
we're going to put hello world. Close one quotation mark, close one parenthesis. Should do it. What this is doing is it's printing to the logs, which you, you can show right here. And in fact, um, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> these, see these two groups of three buttons? This will open the assistant editor and this will open up something else. This will open up like what it used to be. Okay. And you these, and I'm just going to open about this. So you can close off the both of these using these buttons. Or you can open up all three. And that's the, what it does. Okay. <clears throat> now look, we're going to click run again. Okay, open up the simulator. And we see in the logs it says hello world, like we expected. And that's what println does. Whatever you put in the question marks, it print it prints that instead of logs. And we get what we want. Okay. So guys, um thank you guys for watching and I hope you see my second video, which is how to make a calculator. Bye bye.